Yo, what's going on? I'm so excited. I'm on my way home from work. Just got off and I got a notification from my informed delivery through the USPS that a certain package I've been waiting on has arrived at my mailbox and it is there. So I'm heading home to get it and we're going to check it out once I get there to see what it is. All right, y'all. Let's get there. All right, go ahead, girl. Just, just stop checking the post, uh, my post, um, post box here. I'm going to go ahead and run and grab the package and get ready. Yeah, I'm excited, y'all. All right, I'm back. I've got the box. Get ready to go to the crib or to the house and open it up and see exactly uh, what it is we got, y'all. Let's go. All right, y'all. I've got it right here. It was sent to me by my partner in crime, Mr. Cedric Bridgewater. And uh, let's see exactly what it is. Open this up. Open this pin. Tear this portion from this end. And it is hereby a belt. So, of course, being the gun enthusiast I am, I know this is, has to be a gun belt, right? So let's see which gun belt this is. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a Core Essentials. And Core has been making big waves in the and the stylishness of their belts and the way that their actual belts connect as well. So I'm gonna take a quick look at this and I'm gonna give it a give it a try and put it on with a couple of see if I put it with a couple of jeans and see how the belt feels, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff on this and just take a look at how this how belt is. It feels feel pretty sturdy. I'm feeling it right now, it's, it's not heavy. That's the part that's really throwing me off is that it's not he not really that heavy. Let me bring, bring the camera down just a little bit. Yeah, it's like the belt is, is very light for it to be a gun belt, but I can definitely see how sturdy and rigid it is and what kind of material is this? Looks almost to be almost like maybe a nylon type material. I'll have to do some reading to see exactly what it is though. But just take a good look at that. It's got different notches on it as well. I guess the notches with the lettering on it, helps you to determine on where you need to cut it in order for it to fit. Now I'm a big boy, so my waist is right now at around a 38, possibly 40. Now let me take a look at this belt buckle. Okay, belt buckle is pretty cool as well. And I know, looking at this belt buckle, it's got the spring back here, so that means that the that the belt is going to loop in through here, and you have to release it with the little spring here. So if you don't, if you a little lost what I'm talking about. So basically, the belt is going to come in through here and lock in with the springs. So, okay. This is, this is going to be interesting to see exactly how how this maintains. Where are the actual notches? I'm going to take it, up, take it all the way up. Let me take it all the way up. Oh, here, there's the notches on this end. Here's the reason. I knew, I, knew, I knew I was missing something. So basically, the belt is going to slide right in here. Click. If you can hear, hear that clicking. So once it goes in, that's where it's at. And then you have to press on this little lever here before it goes in this way anyway to take it off. I got a couple of regular style belts that are like this. They're not corded, they're just regular dress belts, not gun belts. So, so it's gonna be pretty cool to have be able to test it out. But let me go ahead and, and get suited and booted and we're gonna check check it out, okay? Lego. I decided to move to a different portion of the house to where I have a little more lighting. Um, where I was at was natural lighting, so I know it's about that time to start getting a little dark and a little, uh, you know, hazy outside. So I decided to come on down here where I have my actual lighting inside the house here. So, but I did go ahead and grab some scissors. And like I said, I normally take it. My actual waist is right around 38. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one right at 41 to see where it sits at. Cause I know definitely um, I need to be right around 38 or so. I'm gonna cut at 41 first. Got some good uh, strong scissors here. And let me make that nice cut. <sighs> How about this one? I'm looking for the belt buckle, right? Cause I couldn't find the belt buckle since I cut this in. How about I had already just left it on here so I wouldn't forget it, but guess what I did? I forgot where I left it. But anyway, all you have to do is feed it into this end right here that has these teeth that's gonna hold it in place when you put the Belt, the belt in, so I'm just going to do that right now. Put that on in there. 
nice good tight grip make sure it's not too make sure it's not too off and it's in there so try to make sure it's straight because i don't know how straight i cut it so i'm trying to make sure that's nice and straight in there when i put it in so let me go ahead and flip this switch as i call it flip the switch and that's in there nice and tight and i can tell already that it is slightly i don't know if you can see it is slightly canted all right one of the first things i want to do of course make sure that it fits good in my kydex holster and like I said, I know my Kydex host is an inch and a half, so it's right an inch and a half, so it fits real good in there. Not, not much wiggle room at all, so works out pretty good there. So the Kydex holster definitely fits good. So what I want to do is actually see how it holds up with the gun in it and see how, how, how sturdy it is from there. But perfect, real good fit. Um, not, much, not, not, not much wiggle room at all, very little. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy on and make sure, make sure, uh, see how it fits. And my everyday carry is the Smith & Wesson Shield. This is the original, not the 2.0. Um, well, first things first, let's make sure that we safety check it. Trying to see around in the chamber. And I need it, and you also it's getting clean my gun, so don't judge me. So can you check? Alright. Just run that after. See how it holds up. Now kind of flimsy on that aspect, but the, the belt itself feels pretty good, so definitely holds it well. So let me try one again and see how, how far I, I can hold it before it starts getting flimsy on me. Go back, going down. So, it's not like a steel core or anything in there, like some girls actually have a steel core, so it is actual, looks like a leather or a nylon, it's nylon on the outside, it looks like it's possibly leather or something else on the, on the inner, innards of it, so let me go and put the bad boy on and let's see what it do. Alright, so I've got it all the way on. Belt's nice and snug. Very snug, and let me show you this part. This part I really want to show you all this. I might show you how how it goes through the, uh, the the teeth of it right here. Easy to come off. Just push it towards you, and it easy to off. And if you need to tighten it, pretty easy to tighten it. So it's pretty it's pretty good. Let me pull the shirt out just so y'all can see. The belt itself is pretty darn going good. I, I actually like it for concealed carry and also for outside. Cause basically, this is my everyday carry, the shield, Smith Wesson shield. Even though I wear it outside the waistband, I, I wear it for concealed carry. But um, typically, I normally have a larger shirt on. This is my work shirt, so I just wanted to do the review and make sure that you all see all the see all the greatness. So let me let me, get, let me put in my my uh my Glock 22 which is larger just see how it holds up with, with a larger weapon as well so trying to cover all the bases on, on this on this particular gun belt all right so right now i got on my Glock 22 on my on my open uh outside of waistband carry got my magazine holders as well and holds up pretty good feels feels pretty good besides my jewel i know you're gonna talk about me but that's okay but uh, anyway, I'm, I'm actually digging this belt. The belt definitely feels comfortable and I have no problem just tightening it a little more if I need to. And that feels pretty good right there. So I'm more likely to definitely cut some more off because I got this excess still here. And just dig it into my, over to where my magazine holder is. But overall, not bad. And uh, I've got a full load on right now. Everything is hot and ready to go. Magazine's fully loaded. Firearm is fully loaded. And I don't feel no sagging, no nothing. The belt is pretty much keeping everything in place like it's supposed to. So I will say I'm actually um, actually digging this belt. So now let's see how it does with uh, inside the waistband carrier. All right, so I've got my Hume inside the waistband, Don Hume inside the waistband holster here. So let's see how this feels. 
my gun is is loaded just as if I was about to go um, go out for the day for my regular everyday carry. So it's in the holster. Trigger guard is, is protected. So let's see. This one is pretty good because I can actually put my shirt down over it. And inside the waist, man, concealed carry. And it feels good, just like all my other belts feel. Keeps it nice and close to my body. So I'm definitely a fan of this belt. The belt does what it's supposed to do. Make sure it's nice, clean and draw. So yeah, and make sure to slide the weapon back in. Oh, it has a little looseness because I, I don't have it all the way tight, but the belt is sturdy enough to get the job done. So, so I definitely give definitely give this belt a thumbs up. It does it does what it's supposed to do, and like I said, one thing I do like about the belt, it's not overly bulky, it's not overly stiff either. So it's the flexibility of it definitely is a plus to me, and the way that you can actually tighten it and loosen it if need be with the little teeth right here, definitely you know definitely is a is a is a plus for me as well because they. Say that you feel like you, you you're you know you're you need to loosen it just a little bit, hey, just tap it a couple of times if you need to, cause it's gonna automatically come out on its own because, of course, of uh, the force of my fat belly. Or if you need to tighten it, just tighten it on up, and you're good to go. Uh, I want to try one more. I want to try my deep concealed carry, which is my LCP 380. Um, this is my Smith and Wesson uh, of shield, of course, nine millimeter. So let's do a deep, deep concealed carry with my LCP 380 just to round things off with this belt, okay? All right, so now I got the LCP 380, um, LCP Ruger 380 on. And like I said, this is normally my deep concealed carry right here. And it's another little itty bitty gun. Normally I have this inside an uh, ankle holster, but I just want to check it out with the belt as well. And once again, like I said, the belt itself, it's very good, decent, it does what it needs to do, and it's not overly, overly tactical. You know, this is a tactical boat. This doesn't make you just seem or feel like, okay, you're in the mood, you're in the, um, you're, 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 it doesn't make you feel out of place. You know, it feels natural. Um, it doesn't make you feel like you're, you know, tactical Tom or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, overall, I gotta say that I enjoy this boat and that I would definitely give it two thumbs up if I was Siskel and Ebert, but I'm not ready to movie, so I'm gonna say I definitely would give it two fingers up. Um, and one of the biggest things I like about it, like I said, is the, 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 the buckle itself. Because even if you look at the buckle, the buckle itself is actually kind of stylish a little bit, you know, it's, it uh, has the tactical look, tactical feel, but it still is a little understylish. You can wear this with a pair of jeans. It doesn't necessarily have to be 5'11 pants like I'm wearing right now. Uh, you can wear this with uh, some casual pants if need be, and nobody's really gonna think much of it unless you know they're they're an operator or they know what time it is themselves. So, so I will say core essentials. Thank you. As a matter of fact, let me get a little paper that came with it so I can see exactly which belt this is and what all came with. It. So it was the XS buckle. I'm excuse me, the X5 buckle with the black tactical gun belt, and it had a belt hanger. Also, and belt protector sleeve, um, 1.5 wide. So, just to give you a little idea, this one came in in the box actually. And shout out to Core Essentials for for actually doing a pretty good thing. And 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 um, check out their line of belts actually, because they actually have dress belts. Not everything that they have is tactical. So just keep that in mind as well. Anyway, this is Jeffrey Howell, with Black Guns in Education, and you just saw the my review of the core essential tactical belt. And like I said, I give it two fingers up because I like it. Um, give me your comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And like I always say, I look forward to seeing each other when we at the gun range one day. Peace out, y'all.